Hey, we're back, everybody. Yo. Skylar's playing now. Oh, man. Get ready. So first things first, gonna sort that inventory. All right, nice. I am very <laughs> anal about that. <laughs> what do you, wait, what did you just do? I sorted the inventory. How? Uh, if you press Y on any inventory screen, it'll sort it by, oops, sort it by category. So, like, if we go to here, we can sort it by either shirt, headgear, then shirts, and pants, or sort it by, uh, oh. like, sets together, although that's the same order for these three. I guess I never really like we could sort the, cared about the sorting. There we go. Yeah, it's something I care about most for materials, because when you have a ton of materials, it's nice to have, like, all the fruit yeah. together, then all the vegetables, then all the meats, and then all the fish, and then all the bugs, that and all is the helpful. That monster makes sense. stuff. Good to know. Uh, I do not have the parachute. I was gonna jump right off. Yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> For now, you just gotta like wee. <laughs> yeah. That's why this one's designed this way, so you can kind mm -hmm. of just pop on. It's like the base design that they all kind of like play off of. Mm -hmm. I like the glowing blue from the inside. I didn't realize it's that. It's very pretty. <laughs> yeah, we all said it. <laughs> <laughs> My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur when you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Psh, no. Well now, a voice, you say? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? <laughs> no. No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? <laughs> nah. <Yes. laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. <laughs> of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, it would be quite another story. Hand it over. <laughs> I'm going to not be the jerk like this time. <laughs> ho ho! Piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Though I do I'd be, have those. That'd be so weird, a bird human? Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Worry not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Mm -hmm. The isolated plateau. Yeah. Hooray. Come, let me show you something. He just stands there. <laughs> Going on a field trip with the old man. Link's running around. I'm like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> I don't remember how to eat. <laughs> Do you see that structure there? The one with the strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. That's the one. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Yes. <laughs> y yes, quest. Do. Do adventure. I will. I will do it. So there's a, a cobbling camp, yeah. Fort right there. I don't know if you want to. I don't know. Try there to get probably that tra some treasure. Yeah. Nice. Critical hits do two times the damage. Oh, shit. Uh. That's okay, you got him. That one's got a shield, though. Yep. Oh. 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 Mm. 
Oh. Nice. Whoop. Got it. Oh, <laughs> he like popped up. <laughs> I bounced that boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My first Bacoblin camp. Yeah. We should probably grab their remains. We have so few of them that they're still very valuable at this point. Yeah. All right, let's go grab that treasure. Getting all those horns and fangs. That's what's up. Stuff and fangs. Ooh, I'm going to cook something while I'm here, too. Ooh. Nice. Very good. Score. Very nice indeed. What's my first meal going to be? Got plenty of apples and mushrooms. That's true. I'm going to make just a basic healing thing. We only have three hearts, so I'm going to go one, two. To make a two-heart healing thing. Sure I am. I love, like, the cooking. It's so... Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I love it, too. I know what you mean. The sound, the music it plays when you're cooking, basically. It's like a little jingle. Yeah. It's music without being music. It's, like, sound effects that create music. It's like Link humming and some clanking. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really catchy. Like, I'd love to see that worked into, like, some future... Like like remix that someone does, just like the cooking oh, theme from yeah, Breath totally. of the Wild. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, just worked into something like oh my God! That's Whoa! The thing. Ancient gear on the plateau, nice. That's very good. Yeah, it yeah, definitely like search guardians if you've. Seen oh, them. absolutely. I'd... Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Swiggity. Apparently, if you drop like a metal boulder on them, they'll give you more stuff. I have to try that for myself. Still. They give you more stuff, really? Like more bits, screws, and gears and such. Huh. Like you break them or something. I saw a, I saw a thumbnail for a video about it. And I have not checked it out or tried it myself, but I would like to. That is interesting. Uh, if only we had magnesis. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> I wonder if where we'll we get that. Only we had magnesis. Let's do this. Hey, it's the Aonuma shrine. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying to figure out what all the other ones are, and I have not seen Mimoto yet. Yeah. Uh, although I think I found one of the N Nintendo of America shrines, like, people's name. Oh, really? I think so. Did it spell out, like, some really normal name, like Greg? <laughs> it was, it was, I don't even remember now. <laughs> but the la like, it wasn't the first name I recognized, but the last name I recognized, but maybe I just rearranged them wrong. Mm -hmm. But this is the Anonuma shrine. And what we're talking about is that the name of each shrine is a an employee of Nintendo's name, Scrambled. Yeah, it's an anagram. Every single one of them. Which is like an interesting, it's a cool, it's cool for them to be like, yes, I was a part of this game. Yeah, and it doesn't take away from the game too, because if you don't know it, you just don't know it, but it's fun trivia if you do. Yeah. They and like... I do like the first one, Zeonuma. Yeah, yeah, of course. They do like, um, anagrams in this game. Yeah, they're fun. I am Aonuma. <laughs> All right. The Magnesis Trial. Let's do this. Get the magnetic abilities. I will. Become I will become Magne Magneto. I was just gonna say I knew that. it! Oh man, high five! <laughs> yeah! X-Men. Have not seen uh, an X-Men movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did see one of them. I saw uh, That's right. the uh, one with Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, that one. With uh, uh, Huey. With Huey. From DuckTales. With Huey the Jacked Man. Huey the Jacked Man, that's right! <laughs> oh man. Yes. Do this. I love the runes. We are Ian McKellen now. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Ooh, I just remembered. Ah. Yeah. Very sneaky. Yes. I figure I'll make. I'll switch up the outfit every episode that I'm playing, so that people a different way for people to tell who's playing at a glance. Oh. Oh. I mean, okay. It will get confusing later on who's playing, because we have some ideas for who plays which parts of the game. Yeah, but we'll uh, still do it every other episode. We'll but, make it work. But most of it will be a, every other episode. It'll be the other one, yeah. Go and drop that on him. I'm gonna. Oh, you just short of it. Oh. That's okay. It'll block his shots. Very true. Ah, you know what? Never mind. Uh, careful. I missed his eye. Aww. His eye, that would have one-shot him. But I missed up. That's okay. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Sweet. They are tiny little eyes. Yeah. 
They're not like normal big Zelda eyes that you have to hit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah! Come on, buddy. Fine. Do it the old-fashioned way. The explosion! Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. So the first time I was in this temple to get that chest, I tried making a catapult several times. <laughs> yep. And then I learned I can magnesis it. But I almost got it with the catapult. <laughs> I did kill myself, though. Ah. Yes, that, that uh, does tend to happen in this. I was telling you the other day that I've so many times, like, dropped giant metal plates on myself just totally by <laughs> yeah. accident. Just like, oh, oh that, that's not where that goes. That, that's how I die. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. UK chest? <laughs> this game, oh, I, like I mean, people know this by now, but this game is, like, balls hard. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> it is It is not. We will die several times, it does and it's not, not our first playthrough. Yeah, it does not hold your hand at all. <laughs> seriously. It's just like you just lost like five hearts. <laughs> Yay, first shrine. Yeah! Did it. You've proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. Thank you. I like how all these guys look different. Yeah. They each I have like their own too. little design changes. Yeah, it's so subtle too. I love it. Yeah. We'll skip them in the future, the cutscene part, but we'll yeah, let yeah. this first one play out. Exactly. They all say the exact same thing. Yeah. Except for the slight changes in, like, the blessing chambers. Right. <laughs> he gives you a kiss. <laughs> Mwah! <laughs> Here's your gift. <laughs> oh, man. Spirit orbs. We're going to need a lot of those. Oh, yes. In your chest. He's like, ow, uh, ow. Um, that's, okay. That's pain I'm feeling. I like the expression he makes, actually. Yeah, he's got great expressions. Yeah. There are a lot of games where the main character, who, like a silent protagonist, kind of always keeps like a blank face the entire time. Mm -hmm. Link in this game does not do that. They, he, especially in the cutscenes, they do really well with keeping him expressive. Yeah, yeah. And, like, there's a reason why some games do that. Because oh, yeah. it's supposed to be, like, your projection on that character, right? Yes, absolutely. Although, and the example, I'll give an example from a game I absolutely love, which is Fire Emblem Fates, one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, yeah. Uh, during the more dramatic cutscene, Corrin just stands there, like, smiling while everybody else is shocked. <laughs> and it's very, <laughs> takes you out of it a bit. <laughs> it seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance! No, or prevent perhaps something similar. I'm trying to remember the voice I did. As one gets older, it become it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Ho ho! The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. I love his staff. Yeah. I see you're not wearing any pants. <laughs> It all connects to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? I know, I know. I'll let you do the funny choices when you... <laughs> it has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again... Ag That's the end of the sentence. <laughs> but their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. <laughs> that wasn't the deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh? Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. I believe we've done that. Yes, <laughs> got it. <laughs> I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Vloop! Those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke and the shrine where, the shrine where you came from and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. 
oh, we need to like make a choice. Are we going to teleport in this playthrough? Um, I think it depends on the situation. Yeah, that's true. I've been trying not to in my personal playthrough because I like exploring. Although, actually, yeah. for the sake of doing a show, maybe we should. <laughs> it depends, I think. Okay. Let's see. We'll see what we feel like. It's up to whoever's playing at that point. Yeah. Also, I heard some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. All right, let's do this. Which one are you going to head to next? I'm going to go to bombs. Bombs. You got to get that boom boom. Thank you, James. You're welcome. Thank you for that. You're, you're quite welcome. I don't have the paraglider. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, don't try. I won't. I'll take it slow. <laughs> it's interesting how you can get further without, like, boosting. Yeah. I love that. You know, That's such a smart trade-off. It's like it's like you can't be impatient or you'll drown. <laughs> yeah, but if you aren't going too far, then you could get there quicker. Yeah. Yeah, just the no shirt. Just I, the pants. I'm, I'm digging it. Cool. So Bombos is that red one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, bombs are the red. Uh, uh, stasis is purple, and then the water ice cube is yellow. Nice. What's the water one called? Ice Pillar? Thanks. You know so. the one I mean. I think that's what it is. And then we get the last rune much later. Yeah. Or okay. not much later, but after the plateau. After that. <laughs> Very nice. We're doing well. Ooh, there's a little skull mm. hideout. Place. I want to get the bombs before I take that on, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have to show everybody my glorious yeah. strategy. Yeah, actually, I'll let you do that on your <laughs> next episode. It works extremely well. You'll, it does. you'll see everybody. <laughs> I really get a kick out of it. <laughs> oh, be careful. I think this is where the things are. Oh, I know. I know how to deal with a guardian or two. <laughs> Just go up and punch it in the eye. <laughs> That's how. That's what's up. Uh oh. <laughs> this was terrifying the first time. Ruh roll raggy. It's it's just so terrifying. We're gonna meet our Scooby Dooby Doom. Ha. <laughs> no, yeah, the, these these guys are no easy task. <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear. Wow, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Jabaige. Uh, I guess I'll do this one and then end the episode. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, we can each get two. Ah, nice. Oh, actually, it'll probably take us a while to get uh, to But you'll probably yeah. end up getting the other two anyway. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, not to plan ahead too much, but if you, on the next episode, you get the third one, mm -hmm. the stasis, mm -hmm. then get as close to the fourth one as you want. I'll spend my episode just preparing potions of cold resistance so that you could go get the last one. <laughs> okay. That actually kind of works. Sweet. That's right. I forgot the fourth one was cold. Yeah, very cold. Cold area. We're gonna need at least a shirt for that one. Yeah, that's true. We could get. <laughs> I could try to get the warm doublet before then. Hmm. Uh, I love it. the plateau is so bountiful of like food and stuff. Yeah. It really spoils you. <laughs> I'm gonna skip the. It's like enjoy this while you can. <laughs> yeah. You better have a lot of stuff when you jump off of here. Yeah. <laughs> I saw online somebody took a screenshot. Somebody found the ruins of Ro of a uh, uh, Lon Lon Ranch. Really? And it's like the exact layout. Oh, I want to see that. That's in uh, Central Hyrule. We'll get there later. Oh, man. I was like, whoa. That's cool. We got two bombs. Yay. Man, I love that. I, I love everything about this game. I keep saying that, but the fact that they give you all your, like, abilities off the bat. Mm hmm. Like, all the main things, yeah. Yeah. It's so great. It's just every. The whole rest of the game is just. And now, what are you going to do with that? How are you going to use that to solve this? Exactly, yeah. And, like, every other shrine u utilizes, like, at least two of the things, you know? Yeah. <laughs> or at the very, very least, one of them. Yeah. And there's some that are just huge and use all four. Yep. Oh, yeah, some of them are And just... your paraglider, which is kind of like a fifth one. Yeah, so, some of them are way harder than others. Yeah, it's so funny. You go into one and it's either, like, very, very tiny or enormous, and there's no... Or in between, and there's no way to know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's not gonna make it. 
Ah, unless you throw it. Or that that yeah, that works too. Oh, that almost got caught. It almost got squished. Shabloop. That'll do. <laughs> Did I get the chest? Yeah, the one in that. What corner? was in it? I I think a sword. Maybe? Oh right, right right. Like the Charles Claymore or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I love this bit. Oh, this one. Yeah. Whenever I see a shrine that has these like things in them, I get very excited. <laughs> oh, there's another chest over there. Shaboom. <laughs> How often do you use the square ones in comparison to the round ones? I use the round ones more, but I use the square I use them both a lot. Okay. It depends on what I'm doing. I'll use the square ones when I'm mining, so I could, like... If I don't have, like, a hammer to mine with. Oh, I'll yeah. Because bombs also work. I'll use the square one because that will... Uh, that was not what I needed to send over there. <laughs> you need to send your body over there. That's right. <laughs> I'll use the square ones to, like, control where the ore is going to go flying. That's like, I hit from smart. a precise angle. Interesting. They both have their... Whenever I'm being chased by enemies and I want to drop a bomb, I'll use a square one so it doesn't roll away before they catch up to me. Hmm. That's smart. Yeah, I find myself just instinctively choosing the round ones. Uh, I've only used the square ones a handful of times. Wow, okay. But yeah, it's they definitely have a purpose. They're there for a reason. Yeah. They, it's great. I love that you have both options. Yeah. If you're not on a flat surface, use the square ones. I also like that arrows are like fairly hard to come by and then bombs are just like infinite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was bad. They just got to recharge, and then you're ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> and you can upgrade how quickly they recharge. Yeah. So you got the treasure chest. Now you just need to blow that up. That'll do. Yeah, nice. Yeah. It's, it's cool how some shrines have, like, two or three or maybe even four treasure chests, too. Like, yeah, some of them have a lot. There have been, I think, two treasure chests in shrines I've done that I could not figure out how to get. Yeah. And they still taunt me to this day. Some of them are real tricky. Mm -hmm. I make it, like, my goal to get it every time I'm in a shrine to get, like, the chests. And yeah, you at least gotta try. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Nice. We got two. A. And I like how the first four are, you know. You have to get, yeah. Four so that you can upgrade as soon as you get to Kakariko. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. Uh, oh yeah, so that's gonna be the episode. Yeah, that yeah yeah. Uh, <laughs> next time on Sky Jam, James will be the one play. Let's that's right. See if the old man says anything when we load in right here. Cool. Not that's the end of the episode right now. And... Nope, it's James o'clock. Alright, cool. <laughs>